Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to March of 2024. I, I keep thinking it's like 2023. It's just, I don't know if it's quite sunk in yet. So yeah, like anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we are planning from March 18th through the 24th, which I feel like is like a week ahead. Well, it is the week ahead. <laughs> I get that. But I feel like it's even a week ahead of that. Like I feel like it's like March 8th, which was exactly a week ago. So where did this last week go? Maybe, maybe that's my problem. <laughs> I have no idea where this last week went. Um, I did want to share, I got this from um, my sister at Christmas time and I uh, wanted to show you my progress on this. Um, so today's Friday the 15th. And um, yeah, I think it's, these are, you have to be a little careful. Um, it's going to be like spring blossoms in here, but I am like really excited to get this all the way down. And then as I mentioned, it has a little LED. Well, you can see, let's see if we can turn it on. I had it on. Did the battery die on this already? Possibly, possibly. It might've like, I had batteries in here and it might've been left on. Oh, well, anyway, <laughs> there's just like two LED lights on each side and it just kind of makes it glow. But um, I'm, it, it's really cute. It's really cute. I can't wait to, to finish this up, but it also like just to see like this much of the year like we're getting down to a quarter of the year gone. I, I'm trying to wrap my head around that. I'm having some trouble. I don't know if any of you are, but I'm having some trouble. Uh, let's light this. And yeah, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. I am filming this later. And so I am using my lights and some natural light. I just did not feel like um, filming without being able to look out the window. Like I just, I needed kind of both. Uh, so I'm looking outside in the Seattle area. We got a beautiful taste of spring today. Um, I was driving around, I think it was like 61. So let's see, what is it right now? Well, 55 right now, but the sun's starting to go down. Tomorrow it's supposed to be even more beautiful. I know like in Colorado, it dumps snow. I know in other areas it's, it's all over the place. Um, we usually have a lot of gloom until May, even some June gloom. They talk about like, we'll have a little bit of a spring and then June can be kind of really cloudy for a while. And then it opens up in July of just a lot of sun. So July, August are our hot months. Um, we can sometimes get to 100 Fahrenheit. Usually we're in the 80s, 90s during the summer, but um, like right now we're in the 50s. And yeah, it's supposed to be like really close, like 65 tomorrow. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm seeing um, like the magnolias are starting to bloom. Like they're still like their buds are really tight. Those are, kind of, or people call them tulip trees, but they're, you know, the, let's see if I can kind of like, <laughs> you know, they're kind of like the tulip part is still, um, you know, hasn't bloomed yet. Um, those to me are like, they bloom so quickly. Like, so I'm going through right now and trying to notice some things and put them on my calendar on repeat. Now I know with global warming, things are gonna shift. Um, but right now I'm always like, oh, did I miss the magnolias? Um, just cause they're so quick. My favorite are still lilac. And I did this a couple years ago. I put lilacs on my schedule and then it clued me into like, they're about to come because I didn't see signs of them coming yet. And that actually reminds me, I have a little baby lilac out there. I'm wondering if this is the year it might bloom because it was baby. It was like barely as tall as my planner right now. It's probably like get it, three to four feet tall. And again, it's so young. It's not, um, blooming yet, but yeah, I just, I like to put that on my calendar along with like my cycles and just because I can be caught unawares. <laughs> 
things. Um, now, I had a hysterectomy, so I, I'm not really surprised by my period anymore, which is really nice. It's just really nice. But, um, yeah, yeah, I can see all the, the starts of spring, which is why I am going back to this one. I used part of it up. I'm going to try to use a lot of it up in this one. Uh, I'm wondering if I can use this up. Excuse me, I'm trying to... <coughs> I just had something to eat right before this. Um, try to use this up on three different planners. So again, I'm still doing three. I stopped doing vertical in here. Um, I still don't know what I'm doing on these middle ones, but we will set up the back, the back of the week here for um, inspiration. Uh, well, reflection, which includes it does not include inspiration. I meant to say reflection. So, um, this next week looks really blank and I'm trying to understand why. Let's see. Um, oh, I have to do my shot and then we have typical things. Okay. So let's just cover a bunch of different things here. Um, this last week, worked really well that is not that is the week before i was gonna say wait a minute that's not the right colors this worked really well i'm still loving having like multiple lists because it allows me to look at them and see like it it, it helps me to categorize so i know like i can get into that frame of mind um where's my pen i'm just seeing some things here whoa that I can mark off. Got that. Whew. Yeah, like there's a lot going on. Oh, I did this today. And then, oh, I did that today. So that's all done. And then I did a one last run there. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm thinking I'm also digesting my food, so I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, there's a lot going on. I'm trying to think where to start. Well, first of all, yes, this is one of my new tattoos. Um, I had uh, my appointment. Oh, yeah, that's why it fell so long ago. Because we're on this, we're coming up on this week. It, well, it was a week ago, yeah. Um, last Friday, I got everything done like before that. So like Friday, I could totally chill. And I had some feelings afterwards. <laughs> now I have all of these here and I rarely show, you know, my, my little dragonfly there all the way. Um, and I had that done in 21. I had to remember cause I was like talking with her. Her name is Paige. Let me get her card out. She is moving to Chicago, but, um, if you are interested in her work, uh, I love her just the way she draws. I just love it. And she's just a kind, um, gentle, just, just a great person to be around. So, um, yeah. And I think she has this as a tattoo somewhere. So someone might've, gotten that one but um yeah she's moving out from Issaquah to Chicago so if you are in the Chicago area <clears throat> let me just say excuse me that uh I'm very jealous <laughs> because <laughs> she is going to be closer to family but um yeah check her out here on Instagram to see all of her stuff I just had to share because yeah and she'll be coming back here a bit um but when I went in there, I had an idea and my idea didn't quite work out. So afterwards I was a little panicky. <laughs> so here, here's what I'll um, explain. So I love this one. Um, it's still, it's starting to peel a little bit. So I've been putting moisturizer on it, but I love this. No problems there. I even love how this came out. The problem is, is I asked for this to get smaller here. And now I'm regretting it. <laughs> so I actually wanted 
it to be much bigger. Um, but she kind of had a limited time slot too. So this is one of her flash pieces that we modified. And I still think it's completely gorgeous. Like I love it. And I also um, love the spacing here so that I can wear my watch. I did try wearing my watch over here. I might have mentioned that last week. It doesn't work very well uh, through the ink. So I find this like perfect spacing. But then the more I thought about it, because I was, I was like really panicking. It's permanent. It's permanent. What are you going to do? You can get things erased, but I was like, wait, no, we can totally work with this. So I'm going to go back to her and ask if we can add on. And here is my <clears throat> idea is like to put some more right here. And so it'll just kind of build on here with there's, I don't want to give too much away because I don't know a hundred percent, but I do like want more leaves all the way around. And then something here that I'll share later when it's done. Um, the fact that she's moving, <laughs> uh, I was going to ask her if she could draw it and have someone else in her collective, um, do it. They're moving to Kirkland. Um, they think, they're hoping, uh, but I may be able to get in with someone before they move, or I might catch her when she visits. It could be six months to a year from now, who knows? But um, there are some possibilities of people who can add on if she draws it and sends it to them. Maybe, maybe that'll work. I need to talk to her. <laughs> I need to talk to her. I haven't even talked to her yet, but... I did go from like panicky to, oh, wait, this is just like a phase one. Like there are tattoos that like a whole sleeve takes multiple sessions. Um, and I just, my scale was off. I was just like thinking it would look different and bigger. And I mean, they put the, um, like she has the transfer paper and she put it on and I just kept looking at it going, what's wrong here? And it just never dawned on me because I do like how big these are. Like, I love how this turned out. I just want a little more around here. And I love how this like peeks out like that. Um, and I might have like something kind of here go up the side Again, it, I think it'll all work just fine. I just am like, it makes me nervous when I don't have something completed. <laughs> so, and I don't want to wait like two years because what happens is actually on this side, I asked her to um, put just a couple, there's three little half lines in here. And I love it now. It, to me, it looks a little bit more like a ginkgo leaf. Um, and so that's why they're, feeling a little bit, they're healing. And it, it does, everything gets fuzzy here, but it is starting to blend in. It is. So, um, yeah, I mean, I love wearing people's art and I love her art. I love that I have it like everywhere. Um, this was not her art, but she did it for me. Like I brought that to her, but, um, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. And so I'm just, you know, I, I'm just trying to be okay with that. And it, I had to settle into, well, what do I exactly want, you know, for the rest of it? And I need to clearly communicate that with her. And I know, I know we can, I know we can, like, she can do it. She can do the design, but she's moving. So she has like, her brain is full of stuff right now. Um, but I do need to just touch base with her and, and see. I mean, she might have a little opening. I just doubt it. I just highly doubt it. Because um, she's also taking a trip. And then she's like guest spotting in Chicago next week sometime. Um, yeah, and then she's transitioning sometime in April. So yeah, like I, I don't think she's really doing much right now. I think she's like, okay, I'm done in Seattle. Now I'm going to move on. Um, but I could see her drawing me something and then taking it to, there's two or three people here that I think could work really well, 
really well. So that is my adventures with that. Uh, I really, but I am so excited to have it finished. Like I really can't wait till it's finished, but yeah, I, I feel such much more at peace right now. Much more at peace. Um, let's see. I was like, what is this? Okay. That was done. This is today. I actually woke up more around seven. I wasn't going to sweat it much for the Sterling Inc. Um, they released, she released her April stuff. And so, but I, I didn't want to like rush to, because I didn't need anything specific that was going to sell out right away. There's all the kits um, sell out very quickly, probably within the first 10 minutes. Um but I didn't need a kit. I was just getting one off. So I got like the B6 insert and I got some of the things. Most of the things are in the $50 version, but I just don't get all the rest of the stuff. Um, I'm kind of rethinking that now. I'm like, do I want to like get up early once a month to try to get these things? Or do I just bite the bullet and just get the $50 pack? That's what I'm kind of like leaning towards. I I think I would be more at peace on at that because I've seen what she's been experimenting with this this year so far of like I don't have to have them all be my favorites. This really grew on me. I thought I would hate this, <laughs> but and I thought I wouldn't really like this one either. Um but it really did. It just it feels more I don't know. It, it just, it really grew on me because this one, as I said, was absolutely amazing. And then I'm seeing these as amazing now. And I looked at April, I'm like, oh, that's a little bland. But I feel like once I put it in here, it's going to be very different. It's going to definitely feel better. Um, and I, I also didn't know how I would feel having the same kit as everyone else at the same kind of pattern pace. And now I'm just like, I'm just one, gonna do what I'm gonna like to do. <laughs> this is this is what I'm going to enjoy. So that is what is happening. Um, what else, what else? Oh, and then today I ran a bunch of errands. Um, this is the last weekend for Girl Scout cookies. I think maybe Sunday might be the last. So when you see this, if you want some, I think it's the last day. They said last weekend. So I'm assuming through Sunday. Don't just go and check. Um, the Girl Scouts website is really awesome because I found like all the locations near me that they signed up to have booths and things. And so I was like going, okay, I'm going on Friday to go restock before they're out and it was so cute. Um, the, where I went had a person that was older. And so it's not like the little tiny brownies or, um, so probably like middle school to high school. And I just felt really good, um, going there because they were kind of quiet. And I think they were like, I don't know if I can sell all these, you know, but I was like, Hey, you know, coming in, buying a whole bunch. Um, yeah. Yeah. I just, I feel it's such a different business from when I was doing it. Cause at the time I would like count out all the money, um, and then, you know, making change back. And now it's just like, you know, tap your card and you're done. But, um, yeah. So if, if you want any, I, I didn't realize this weekend was the last, I thought maybe next, but yeah. And then what did I do? Well, I was going to pick up groceries. I had to pick up some medication, which reminds me, I have my shot on Monday and I, I went back and forth with so many nurses. I'm like, I just need to come in and you need to show me how to do this. But most people are just like, yeah, just do it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm not good with needles. I have never given myself a shot. So, and I know for people who are diabetic, it's like, what's the term? Like old news, old hat, whatever. Um, it's like, 
you just become used to it. And it's like when I got my infusions, you just get used to it. And all the labs that you have to do and all the testing and all those things. I used to be extremely fearful of colonoscopies. I now they're just like, okay, let's do it. You know, um, also get the, if you can, well, what is it called? I want to call it ready tabs, but that's like the Claritin thing. Um, what is it called? I have forgotten. Let me see if I can remember it (laughs) during this, but there are alternate versions. And so make it easier on yourself. Just make it easier. Um, anyway, since I had back and forth and I didn't want to drive a whole long distance, I'm like, okay, fine. I'm just going to give it to myself or have my mom help me out. And I haven't decided which way I'm going to do that on Monday, but (laughs) then I won't have to drive really anywhere. Uh, And then it's, I was just thinking, I might just highlight here. Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I, (laughs) hold on, hold on here. Um, I want to get a highlighter that's lighter. Let's see. I want, not that one. Do I want the smoky one? There's a smoky one. (sighs) Let's see. I'm going to my swatches here. And for the most part, I can't really notice the difference between these papers in terms of color. I don't think one's more yellow. If you notice the difference, I would love to hear. So I have this green pen out right now. Right there. And I'm like, I just want something... A little, well, I have this for dots. I was thinking about getting that one out, but I want to use, I'm thinking this one, because I think this is too bright. It's between these two green ones. I guess this, these are more bright. I mean, I like that better because it's more muted like the other things. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that because these, this palette just works. It just works. Okay. Let's see if I can get in here. So let's have this and I want to highlight the whole point of this is that I want to highlight, um, that I'm kind of going to be kind of down for the count. I guess I could do it on this side or that side, this this side makes a little bit more sense. And I'm not going to use a straight edge. I'm just going to hand do this. Yeah, that's all I need. It's just kind of like, I know those two days I may not be up to what I want to do. This is a darker marker. So I think I'm going to just highlight the days of the week like this and then have the number. It actually makes those days stand out a little bit more, but I think it'd be too dark if I did the numbers too. Let's try it. (laughs) For some reason, it looks like little mustaches. I don't know why. I don't know why that's just where my brain's going right now. Do I want to do the whole thing? It does look a little weird. It's kind of like the number is the mouth. (laughs) It looked like little mustaches and I don't like that. So we're going to, we're going to just come down here and extend that down and kind of make it look a little more circular. Try not to layer as much. Yeah, that's a little better. They're going to be a little different (laughs) this week. Oh, talk about permanent. That is just what they are. They're just little blobs this week. And if I put too much on, they're gonna... Oh boy. (laughs) Okay. Just have to go with it. This is kind of reminding me how I felt about my tattoo. (laughs) It's just like, okay, this is happening and this is permanent and 
that's what's going on. That's what's going on. Okay, we're moving on. And what, you know what? We can go to another week and we can make modifications to our tattoos. It's, it's all working out. Um, this is much lighter. And then this is, I think this kit definitely has more brightness to it. And then I'm all over the place here. Um, I'm going to get the darker green out, possibly, I don't know. I'm going to need that. But I also need my tweezers. Okay. I tried to use those other tweezers. It, I haven't practiced with them though. Um, besides that, um, the allergens are bringing the allergies along. So let's see. I want to take my shot midday here. Um, and then my son has his appointment here. So before I, um, started recording today, I, this song has been going through my head and I think a lot of you may know it if you've watched Bambi, not one of my favorites. It's just one of those childhood things that just sticks in your mind. Um, but the little drip, drip, drop, little April showers is kind of how I felt like this last week was going with all the, um, it was a bunch of rain and it just kind of popped in my head. I think it pops in my mom's head too, which is why we, um, kind of think about it this time of year. I don't know what time I'm going to do that. I'm trying to think, maybe I'll do it around 10. Just do a little earlier and then um, for so sometimes I put I just put a check mark there inside sometimes I put the number inside but these are darker so I like the time to be next to it um, and then 11 a.m. here is my therapy okay I know the other one's my son. So that's how that's working. We're, just, we're rolling with it. We're just rolling with it. Just keep moving forward. <laughs> Don't look back. Um, this one's I've had for a while. And I just think it's really pretty. So let's put that around here. I didn't figure out a use for like this little area. So... I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to make the area again and then we're going to see if it becomes useful. Am I going up? Let me see here. What's going on? I was on the line and then it kind of went up. Here we go. And I'm just amazed that a printing company can line up these so precisely that way. I, I've worked some in the printing industry and it, it really boggles my mind. I mean, I know there's registrations. I know there's like measurements and they can figure it all out, but it's, it's kind of like a rocket ship to me. Like how, how did you get it up there? How did you get it to fly? So and then my little cutter here. Okay, and then, oh, I want to put, so these are, well, the main thing here, um, are the, like, this week, this month from Dandelion Diaries, and the days of the week here, but then I also have some strips here. And I have one through five on all of these. Uh, some of them have a 12, but I was thinking like, could I put like one through five on here? Could I use these in any way? I don't know. I, I thought, well, they don't have to be times. They could just be 
part of a list. And I don't think up here, like I, I, this needs to be pretty concise. Um, like I need these to be stacked on top of each other, but I was wondering about in this area, maybe, or I could do like a top five per day of getting things done. That might work because I'm still trying to see what I can do on these other days. Now, I don't know how well these are going to stick. That's the thing. And so that's why I was thinking about using these days of the week. So for example, <laughs> if my vision isn't very clear of using these, like I've used these before where I just do like four up here and then if I trim off, do I want the top? No, I just, I want it to start at one. And then I like to try to use things the best I can. Now, what is the purpose of then seeing five things I've done every day? I don't know. Momentum. Um, who knows? Who knows, right? <laughs> we're, we're a half hour in. I'm sorry, everyone. This is going to be a long one today. Um... So yeah, I was out running a bunch of errands. I think I'm going to start the one. Yeah. So if this was timed, I actually do like how the numbers are on the lines. And I was thinking about well, what would it look like if I put the numbers on the lines? I mean, it's going to, these tapes um, are not meant to do that. <laughs> And so the little lines in between are going to make it look very off. But um, where was I going with that? Oh my goodness, my mind is all over the place. I did have my first. I'm trying to think if it is my first. I've tasted matcha before, just in other things. So I don't know. But I had... Um, a, a lavender matcha today and who it got my brain going I don't have I really don't have any caffeine on the daily I usually have decaf so let's see I think we want it up here and then starting here I think we want one more up let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one. Maybe there's forty. I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just going to place it. About here, one more. Something's telling me one more. Okay. What's the point in counting when you don't use it then? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. There. So there's just kind of like a top five, and I'll just continue this. I, I actually was wondering if I had any number numbers for putting next to these instead of handwriting the number of the day. Let's see, I'm kind of actually... Come here. Just warn you right now, this is going to be a long video because I got two more planners to go. And I don't even normally do these pages. So... Buckle up, buckle up. Okay. And then I actually don't have the <laughs> um, tape for making the weekend. So I think I'll just do it for these four days. And if I like it, I will keep doing it. 
Let's see. So we cut above the one. And then now I can feel like I can throw away the rest of these little pieces of them. Making a little garbage stack here. Because I'm curious, like, what it, what is this going to be? What is this going to be? So, like, I was thinking, like, I could put this in the middle if it was timed. I, I do. I like that a lot more. I'm just going to show you real quick, and then... Um, I'll pick this up but like if you see the two is on the line to me then I feel like I can shade in like from two to three instead of it being in between but then also it does help to write on the line it's like the shaded part or the written part what do you prefer I would love to hear from any of you like do you like to write things in on the line um or do you like to shade in like the hours so that I guess it's more like time blocking or just putting in your appointments? There is no right answer. First of all, there is no right answer. But um, I can't decide. I, I mean, to me, maybe I have decided. Um, to me, I just, I like to see the actual time blocking and I don't mind not writing on the line. If I was just, if, if this wasn't a grid and just lines, I would want to write on the line. But, and then let's put, yeah, I think these are a little high here because if you, yeah, probably we're probably one high on those. Um, And then I will fill in the numbers for the rest of these. But since I just kind of want to use up this sheet here and get these down. I could do gratitude. I could do other things. I have um, journals that I write in every night. So I do a lot of gratitude stuff there. That is not right. Sundays. I was like, wait, this something feels wrong here. It's okay. Let's move it. Okay. Easy peasy. There we go. That is more correct. And then I think we're going to try it one down because I think... Um, It'd be nice to have kind of a template. Let's see. So here to here. Yeah. That's where it should be. But now it looks low, doesn't it? If you don't look here. Yeah. Let's just experiment. This, to me, gives a little bit more buffer here. Because it's there's a lot of space on the top. There's this blank space here. And um, this is pushing things down. So having a little more, bit more space here. Yeah, that's what's throwing it off. See, your eyes know, like, something is a little off. Um, at least mine do. <laughs> Maybe it's not everybody. Maybe it's... I've been designing for years and years and years. And so a lot of things you kind of have to do by eye. And that's why I do count sometimes. And then other times I'm like, I don't know. And also, as I've mentioned, it is hard for me to count squares. Just the tracking. So we are getting, um, yeah, there we go. And then I'll put in the numbers for the other one. So empty sticker page there. And then I also thought, since we have those there, I'll, I will use a this week right here. I like that. It feels more consistent. Um, I don't think I need a this month. Or do I? No. No. It's it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous as is. Maybe in the future. Now. Now. Let's decorate a little bit. So let's put a bicycle here. 
let's just fill this part up. Um, oh, I did pull a card, so, and it's very short, very short. So I can put it like straight in the middle and then it looks floating, but I prefer, I think I want to have it kind of down here on the line. And we are seeing blooms all over the place. Crocus, tul the tulips are not quite yet. There are daffodils everywhere and I think I used up my daffodils from last year. So definitely rain. Hmm, okay, there's two rainbows. So let's use a rainbow. Do I want to add an angle? Okay, that's cheery. And then we are, St. Patrick's Day is here. I'm just gonna put that here. It also was my dad's birthday. Oh, I don't have an eraser. Um, I was gonna erase that because that's just a show. I'm watching um or maybe watching on PBS let's see let's put a birdhouse here and a bird because the birds are definitely making some noise and then let's put this here and the plants are being watered. And what else? Okay, this has turned out pretty cute. Turtle. Maybe there. up here. I think I want to overlap it right there. Let's start with that and then let's see how much more I can use up. Okay. It's, it's turning out much cuter than I thought and was hoping. So I do want to put the numbers here. So Let's go backwards, 24. Cool. Okay. Yeah, and sometimes they aren't dry yet. Uh, I don't have blotting paper, so. Oh, well. It's erasable. And then this is all I'm throwing away now. This tiny little garbage pile. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do I want anything here? Could I use some green? Could I? Hmm. Hmm. Could I use green on the numbers? Let's try it. Nope. It's not really sticking on there. It's on the side there. But yeah, it's not sticking to the number. I would have to use a different pen. I mean, maybe this one would. Nope. It's it's just too waxy. Yeah, it's just sitting on top. Um, That's okay. That's a quick experiment there. Let's use this as blotting paper on here to kind of lift that up. Yeah, because there was a lot of ink on there, but it was just sitting, uh, sitting on it. Um, yeah. I'm a little concerned that I won't have enough for the other ones. So let's, um, oh, and then 
Yeah, I want to see. I want to go back to doing kind of some daily things here and seeing if, like, I'll maybe I'll use the numbers here and then not here and report back. Report back. Uh, I think I want to use. No, I want to use this one. Let's alternate. What did I use here? Oh, just across the top. So let's just go across the bottom. And I'm not alternating so much to make sure that the planner doesn't get too bulky in one area. I, it hasn't been too much. There's so many pages in between that don't really have much on there. I got more concerned in the Sterling Ink one because, you know, all the weeks are on top of each other. And then all the days, like, this is not working. Okay. But in this one, since they're all mixed together, there's a lot more variety. So I got my Girl Scout cookies. Then I went and got my meds, um, which were like prescriptions that I have a ton of my med anyway. And I'm like, I don't need it, but they filled it anyway. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll pick it up. And then, um, the food order wasn't ready in time and I go pretty early. Like I am pretty early to everything, put a lot of buffer time between things. And so I'm like, okay, well, I guess I have to wait an hour. And I thought, it is so nice out. Let me be like all the other people around here and celebrate by washing my car. So, um, yeah, I picked up, uh, yeah, it's a iced lavender matcha, but it's oat milk and I would get it again. If you, the lavender is quite pronounced. If you don't like lavender in your food, like smell a, a lavender soap. Cause that's, that's definitely what it, it kind of smells like. I didn't mind. I actually didn't mind. Um, and then by the time I got, yeah, actually I got the notice as I was about to get into the car wash that the food order was ready. And I was glad I was still out and about cause I was going to go home for a little bit. And so I was able to go from the car car wash and go get the food. Reflections. There we go. And then we do wins. Um, what worked? What didn't? I might space these out a little bit. Bit more because I want to focus on the wins and what worked. I don't know if I need to focus on what didn't. Um, and then let's see. And then I put insights, shifts, and feelings. So then as I was leaving, I noticed my blinker was not working correctly. And it does that, you know, quick um, blink to let you know, like the light is burnt out. I'm going to put the tiniest little ladybug right there. Super cute. Um, yeah, let's just do that for now. And then go to my A5. What is happening here? There we go. I have too many pens, too many pencils. What's going on? Okay. And I think I'm gonna run this on the bottom and the top. No, not on the top because I wanna use that area. So this is where I can map out my week. So I have my appointments there, but I would like to, oh, I haven't done my card yet. Okay. I'm just, I'm all over the place, I'm all over the place. 
The matcha really has me revved up, but not, not in a great way right now. So luckily I wasn't too far from home and it's in the middle of the day. And so um, there's only like two turns that were right turns because it was my right blinker. And came home, got the groceries away, and then I'm like, okay, we got to fix, fix that. So looked up on YouTube how to do my, um, change my, because I've been doing them in other cars for quite a bit. I just hadn't done it in this car. And we've had this car a long time. Like it's, it's nothing new, but I think I'm just going to do the numbers. Yeah, let's just try numbers here. Okay, that works. Uh, so yeah, that was a quick fix, you know, running to the auto supply store, pick those up. So it was just tons of just running around. Just run, run, run. Um, do I want purple? I I think I want to do that somewhere else. Um, and then this one's a little too big to put in my weeks. So I do want to kind of match. Let's put it here. Let's put it here. There. Yeah, because there's a lot more colors going on in this one. Oh, let's put the bike on here because the bike is not going to fit in the weeks. Now it's becoming a little bit more clear how I can use up these stickers here where I can put a bit more in the B6. I think I want to put it down here or on the weekend. On the weekend. There we go. Yeah, the, the black of the tires is kind of on there, but it looks like it's tipped. Maybe it is tipped a little bit. Eh. Yeah, it's tipped a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it. So, um, what else? Oh, well, I think I want to save that. Do I? Let's do this one. Anyway, so for the most part, everything went really well today. It was just really, really busy for a Friday. And it, it was nice, though, to have the school day off. A little butterfly here chasing that and there's a lot of birds still on here so let's put a couple birds on there's quite a few birds here a nice little pop of red up there and have a little bird down here yeah. we're almost done it might be about it wheelbarrow I kind of want to put like the wheelbarrow and the rainy rainy things here on the weeks maybe maybe oh maybe I want to put a little frog though I think I want the frog I think I want the frog eat the frog eat the frog do the really hard things here let's see if I put it here and it's a little bit more cute down here I think it'll just remind me to eat the frog um to do that hard thing first so now I need yeah my brain <laughs> my brain uh my husband even said like whoo you <laughs> You and caffeine, man, it's not a good mix. Not that he was saying it was bad. It was just like, he could tell I was just saying everything. And I said, well, this is why I would not be a good candidate for a stimulant, like Ritalin or anything. It just, 
But I mean, everyone can tell me I don't, I've never taken a med for my ADHD, but yeah, my brain is definitely going and green tea is not, I don't know. I don't know how much was in what I drank cause I didn't make it, but, um, definitely was kind of a boost. Yeah, let's get this week mapped out and then put a couple things on my weeks and then wrap things up. How about that? And I still need to do my card. I have my card. It's right here. You can literally see a, a little corner of it. <laughs> and I think I'm coming down off of my my high. Um, let's see. And then I think there is an extension here. Four. And then usually I do this day. There. Okay. And then I have. I do want to use these stickers. Do I want to use the stickers? Yeah. We want to use the stickers. Use up the stickers. Because I have more stickers coming. I have more coming. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to do it on the number there. gonna say well those are the real appointments the real appointments we'll see when I take my other med my injection med there okay okay see I don't mind doing this and then having it oh then it's actually this way well we're just going to do it like that. And I'm not missing anything else, am I? Yes, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, and then I will put a dot for some things here. I think I'll put it on the edge so there's some room here. There. Give some space for some things. And yeah, this is where I'm looking at like, okay, what is running into each other? So if I have a shot here, I need to talk, I do need to talk to the person who does carpool with me to see um, if they can definitely take this morning because I'm probably, put a big question mark there, so that will help. Okay, oh, and then let me write the card here. So, the card I pulled is the Five of Cups and I'm like, can I have something cheerful? Well, that's not what life gives you all the time. So the quote here, where'd it go? Did I bury it? I did. Let's see. I did. I did. I did. Okay. This is the holder here. Cards in first. There we go. So, five of cups. All is not lost, just open your eyes. All is not lost, just open your eyes. Let's write that here. There. See, it's nice and short, fits right there. 
So I will write that in the other one as well. Let's get my weeks. Try not to take my kneecap off. <laughs> the um, drawer being out. There's a drawer. 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 <laughs> Now that sounds so weird. Uh, a drawer here um, to my right. So I just want to make sure I don't hurt myself. Uh, I don't think I need that anymore. And I will put the two appointments on because that's really helpful since they're technically both health appointments. Put that there. And actually, I will put one on, and then I i don't know what time it'll be. But at least I'll have it here for my shot, and I can just put the time in. Because that's important too, so definitely for my health journal. Having them here. Feels a little close there. A little further. There we go. No, that doesn't line up. Okay. And yes, I do hold my pen kind of weird here and I'm not on the screen, okay? <laughs> so I really grip it like this because this, sometimes I feel a little not in control that way. Uh, 17, that's right, these line up with, these are my cycle dates, which just are lining up with March's dates here. just happened to and then we're gonna go up here and then low medium high and then you know what I'm gonna try something new here get this tucked under there. I don't like these little dots here. It's kind of at an angle coming out there, but they're just kind of distracting. Oh, this is messy, but that's okay. It's just a health journal. There. From afar, that looks a whole lot better. And then I'll put, do I want some headers here? What do I want to do? I think I want very light headers. So I think I'm going to do it. Now that these dots are gone, it's kind of messing with me a little bit there. Yeah, that's it's a lot better than the dark color. Eh. We're trying, we're trying. Well, we're just gonna do a couple layers on that. Yeah, these are really building up, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> That's how those turned out. And then we'll do uh, just a single highlight here. Let's see if it goes a little better because it's short. There we go. That's good. Um, and then a little darker over here. Just kind of getting our variety of greens. 
and this will highlight everything. No mustaches. I hope that makes sense why they, I called them mustaches. Okay. And then we're going to add some color. We're going to have an umbrella up here. Yeah, let's just get that up there with the galoshes. Those are a little crooked too, huh? I might take some time and straighten things out this week. Let's see, that's a little better. And then put some yellow down here. Although it's not going to rain this week. <laughs> Just realized that. Like we have some nice weather for a while, a while. That's okay. That's okay. We just came through it though. So there's that. Put some more. Like the seeds are being planted and instantly growing. So if you shake the seeds, they instantly grow. And put this here. Maybe I have some blue. Like, okay, we're just going to put this over here. Again, it's not supposed to rain this <laughs> for a whole. I was shocked. Maybe it will. Maybe, maybe the weather patterns will shift. And because you never know in this area. Actually, I want to put that somewhere else. Let's have a cute little bunny because Easter is coming. And the bunnies are visiting. And I love this little, I think I want it up here. And then a little hummingbird here for my energy area, kind of hummingbirds and energy. And that's why I like, I wanted to save some of these because they're definitely smaller and I can kind of squeeze them on. Let's see. That's oh, just kind of floating there. But it's gonna go right there, I guess. Yeah, and then I have some other pages. I think I'll save the wheelbarrow. Yeah, let's put those on the other one. This should be about it. And then I'll put days of the week. And then water. And then steps, bedtime. And here is sleep, right? Sometimes I don't remember all of them. Yep. And then these three meds here, this med here, and this med here, and then any further supplements, which sometimes are like Tylenol. Um, it's whatever I'm supplementing and adding on to things. It doesn't have to be like, it's sup, supplement. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I was like, there's something wrong with this. My brain skipped some letters there. There we go. Did it skip it last week? Supplement. No? Okay. And then down here. Okay. Yeah, I made the first one kind of big. And then I remembered I like them smaller. Okay. Anything else? I will highlight like a couple things up here. Oh, I was going to put 
days of the week. Let me see if I how well this writes on top. Great. Wow. Maybe I'll do that more often. Because that, that makes it feel so much cleaner without the little circles. I mean, I love the circles. If I was doing like a task list, I would love to have the circles there. But yeah, that's how that looks. That's super cute. I like it. I like the yellow in here. <sighs> Ooh. Let's see, I'm just going to put the word shot here. I might just end up giving it to myself. Just be like, okay, we're going to be doing this every at least eight weeks. Might as well learn how to do it myself. And it's nice to go wait. You know, I don't have to sit in the infusion room for like three hours. That's nice. But I also don't have an opportunity to get my labs done. That was really helping to just like go, okay, I can just get my labs done here right now. Um, I do have some coming up, but I'm gonna have to find out where to do those since I'm not technically at this one clinic anymore. I'm at a different clinic group. Um, but I think it's closer. So, let's see, this kiss cut is not exactly kissing. Come on. Well, it's kissing too much. Let's see. I don't wanna tear it because they're cute little flowers. Come on. There we go. Yay. Yay. Put these here. Gorgeous. And seeing how I can use these up. Put a little bird. Yeah, put a little bird in the middle. It doesn't have to be like right on the corner. Um. <laughs> oh, I should put something up here. Probably another bird. Straight up. Right there, gives that a little splash of color there. Let's see what else I can put here. Turtle. Maybe I want to move the ladybug. Oh, that ladybug's stuck. Okay. Just have. I guess, you know what? I want to put wins here as like super lucky. Super lucky. And then I have a bee and a butterfly. So my weeks is done. Let me see about my A5. Butterfly, I have one here. I don't have a bee. A bee would be a nice little bit of yellow kind of flying up here. Let's do it over here. And then all we have is a butterfly. And then that is used up too. Two whole pages used up. Um, I think that's about done. I don't need any more there. But I'm kind of thinking either this one. There's already a butterfly here. But it can have more, I guess. <laughs> Let's just have it down here. And just take up some of the room of what didn't work. And we're just not going to focus on what didn't work. And we're just going to have it a nice little 
cute area down there. Okay, so let's look at the three. And I think I'm about done. So there's this one for the A5. This one I need to write, let's see. Excuse me. I could almost fit it right here have this for something. Let's try that. There. Because look how short that is. Like, <laughs> just kind of fit in there and then see what I can do over here. Um, I can still put something here. Maybe I'll, I'll write my Friday fun times there. That might be a nice little thing for me to do after I'm done. So here is the B6. And I usually come up with like things to highlight on Sunday and this is Friday. So just has a little bit here. I just, I didn't feel like I needed any washi tape on those and then just have that as the washi tape one. And then this cute, this one turned out cute. I like that. So yeah, I think that's it. How long has it been? Way too long. Well, no, an hour and a quarter is not that bad. It really isn't. Um, that's what I did last week, I think. <laughs> so yeah, once, once the weeks, like it usually comes together pretty quickly. And this one bird, it's kind of weird right here, but I don't want to put it up here. It's looking at my therapy appointment. Do I want to put it down here? That's what I'm wondering of just like moving a couple things around. Hmm. It's going to be in the way there. Let's see. I do want to have the red. Maybe the bird is here for my shot. On top of the green. Why? Why would the bird be on top of the green? Hmm. Let's have it here. Here. Here we go. Let's try that. No, that doesn't look right either. It's better. It's actually better than over here. Because it's kind of looking down here. I don't know. It's a sticker on a piece of paper. So I also was going to look at this. Yeah, let me see if I can move it slightly. Okay, I just spent a good number of minutes trying to replace, move that just slightly. <laughs> and I think it looks exactly the same. As long as I tried, as long as I tried. Um, thank you everyone who joined me here. I really appreciate it. Whew. Um, I always appreciate your comments down below. I love them. Love, love, love them. And they're just so sweet. I'm just so thankful that we can kind of connect with each other on things. Um, someone had a gorgeous idea. I think I'll go into it next week because I need to kind of think about it a little bit when she was looking at like my matrix that I have in the front, um, of my Sterling ink where, yeah, there's a lot to talk about there. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you're watching this, um, it gave me a lot of ideas and I'm glad that you took it and, sp and spun it in your direction. Uh, I love that. I love that people can like take things from this bits and pieces and go, oh, well, I could do this with it. <laughs> we could do this and we could, you know, um, yeah. This bird's bothering me, but <laughs> it's going to stay right there. Um, it's been a really interesting week this last week. It's just been really busy. I guess, you know, very busy marches, right? Marches usually, there's a lot of energy moving through it. Um, so rest, take some time to rest through this if you can. 
If there's any moments of just quiet because who can be a lot, it can be a lot. Um, and I thought there was one more thing. Okay. And then the last thing, um, that it kind of got me excited here, here is that I did get some potting soil and I need to refresh my planters and things. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do that this early, but just this kind of promise of like things are growing, things are changing. Um, I think that's why I was really drawn to these, um, that spring really feels really salient this year, this really right now. I think just as luck is combining everything together right now. So I'm really kind of excited about that this next week. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If you enjoyed this, please like it on your way out. And if you want to hear about whenever I release a new video, I'm hoping one this next week. This last week was so busy, I didn't get a chance to do a second video, but I'm hoping to do at least one more by the end of the month besides my reset. Uh, I did, I almost used a whole sticker pack that was just absolutely gorgeous, um, but I realized it, was be, it would be much better for a monthly reset, so I think I'll do that for April, and I'll save like the Sterling Ink April stickers for something else, maybe just a weekly. Um, I mean, they're going to be gorgeous when they come, but um, I'm really excited. There's just, it's, I love like the lushness of this other pack that I have. So um, yeah, if you want to hear about that, hear about when things come up. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of energy, as I was saying, but there's a lot I really want to get out of me and share with you. It's, it's hard when there's so many other things going on and a lot of support that I'm providing for others. And, um, it's hard to like sit down and prioritize that at, at times. And also like test, I'm doing more, some, some more test runs of financial apps. If, if you have a, an app, I've used quite a few that just help you categorize things and just, um, budgeting and stuff. I have my budget Google sheet and I love that. Like it's working. It's, it's more of like, that's my primary, but it also helps to just have an app that's just pulling everything in. I used mint a long time ago, but then once into it started like <laughs> expanding and owning everything. Um, I pulled all my info and deleted my account there. I've tried Monarch. Um, Copilot. Um, I'm trying Origin. It They're very new. Uh, I'm kind of wondering about going back to Monarch. Monarch was starting up when I was using it the last couple, well, it was probably three or four years ago now. And um, I, I need some certain capabilities. Some things it's working and other ones it's not. So, you know, personal finance is very personal to everyone. And, um, it, not all apps are going to work for all people, but I do love that I have a separate spreadsheet now that I can enter things in and really categorize really well. Cause I actually leaned on last year's spreadsheet for doing my taxes more than any app, um, that I was using. I was actually just totally sick of the app I was using last year. And I, I try to do it by now because usually you can go back like three months of transactions that it's pulling in. Sometimes it goes even further. Like I was noticing this last one almost went like a year of pulling in transactions, which I didn't know they go that far back. But, um, yeah, I try to kind of the first couple months here, get an app set so I can use it for the whole year. And if I want to change apps, at least it's per year, per calendar year, so that um, I have all the info kind of in one place when I'm doing my taxes. Um, yeah, so if anyone has any recommendations on what they love to use just for, it's mainly categorizing transactions, which I'm, I am already doing in my spreadsheet. Should I just, should that be it? Maybe that's it. Maybe I just use my spreadsheet and I have a paper ledger. So maybe that's enough. But I also just want to log in and see it all in one place, which I kind of have. Like, 
And I'm being a little sh- like, not shady, but like closed off because I don't need to announce every single app I'm using. So anyway, take care, everyone. Let me know what your thoughts are on spring and financial apps that you love. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.